about to talk about makeup. We're gonna talk a little about my makeup collection. It's getting, you know, a little plentiful. And I just wanted to, you know, share with y'all a couple of my things I have and a couple of my things I use. As you can, my face is done today. And that's actually what I want my next video to be is how I do my face in the morning and stuff like that. And yeah guys, so so you know what actually I'm that's exactly what I'm gonna start on how how I go through my day. First thing that I go into is the NYX Shine Killer. Professional portion to eliminate the look of oil and shine so face stays matte and fresh all day long. Use as a base, wear it along or over makeup. Some days I really do <laughs> just put this on my face and some days I put it on when I have makeup and no. Um I got I think I got this from the hair storm. Around my way. Well in the mom with Arium. And I think it was like maybe under $10. I'm not sure exactly how much the price was. But I know I got it because at Ulta it was way much more expensive than I saw. It and I was just like, oh, at the beauty supply store it's actually cheaper, guys. So I was like, let me get it. It works, but I guess I have excessively oily skin because my face still tends to get oily. Yeah. So then I go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer High Definition Concealer. And this is the Orange Corrector. That's upside down. <laughs> so yeah, this I use on my dark spots. I you can't see my dark spots right now. I guess you know this is so bomb.com. But I have some down here. I have some over here. I do my bags because the yeah, those are dark. I have some over here. I have like this horrible pimple that keeps disappearing and coming back and disappearing and coming back and disappearing and coming back and it's so freaking annoying like I just want to punch it in his face and like kill it and just be like stop coming back this is not return of the pimples like come on but yeah <laughs> I use this as a little tip and you just you know and then I just let it like sit for a little and if I got the right one yes I did um, I actually got this little container from the dollar store and it came with like three yeah really cute and then I let it like dry for a little bit so let it on y'all see this when I make the next video or when I do my makeup y'all see how I do the whole thing put that on and then I take this let it dry for a little bit and I take it and I try to like dab it in as good as I can so when I put my foundation on you know my face won't be freaking orange and yes sometimes I didn't blend in some places and I'm looking at my face in the mirror later on in the day and I have like orange spots and I'm just looking like stupid damn but um there's something else I want to show you guys okay yeah so I have this and uh, so I actually got the sponge that I could show you um, this bag and I just have a lot of stuff in and I got it from shopmissa.com a while ago. So I can't even tell you how much I got this for. But like, I'm in love with this bag. Look at all the different types of sponges. Like, look at this heart shape. And this one's kind of like the one that I have, a little bit thicker. Um, this one, you're gonna see that one in a few again. Um, this little circle one, I don't even know what I have. Yeah, I got that from Shopmissa. And I freaking love it. I really love it. And, yeah. So I blended in. Da -da 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 -da. Then I go with my foundation. All right. So I guess this is a good time. No, let's talk about foundations first. I have four different ones. I'm kind of interchanging through with right now. Let's start with the one that I don't use as much. Um, when I first started with makeup, my mom got me MAC makeup. Well, it's not when I first started. It's when, sorry guys, my bra like pinching me. Oh my gosh, stop the bra. Um, this is like done. <laughs> like I don't even know if there's stuff still in here. But anyway, my mom got this for me prom night. And she's like, you know what? You don't really wear makeup like that. I'm gonna buy this for you. Mm, there's some stuff in there. But yeah, so I'm color... NC50, yeah, from MAC. 
And I like this. I like MAC. But, you know, they're kind of pricey. And, you know, I'm a college student that babysits for a living. And I don't have time to be buying MAC foundation. So, therefore, I went to the cheaper end and got me some Fit Me by Maybelline. I know everybody had tried this the life, day in their life. With, like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You know I'm trying to say a life and time and day of their life, you know, whatever. So I got the normal to oily skin one. I have two colors because these two colors, you know, they look in between me. So I'm like, if I mix them, I can be. And it works for the summer. No, I'm kidding. It worked last winter when I first got it. It worked. And see, I could tell how much I really don't make them on because I had these since last winter and I'm still using them. And it worked. And over the summer I used the darker one because you know I got a little bit darker and then now right now I'm using the lighter one but you know, it pisses me off it doesn't piss me off but it just confuses me it's okay I have a 340 cappuccino and a 338 spicy brown you would think the 338 would be the lighter one and the 340 would be a little bit darker but the 338 is actually the darker one 340 seem like it's lighter and the 38 338 spicy brown seem like it's darker. Yeah. But I like them. <laughs> I like them. I'm with them. There's actually a couple other ones that I actually do want to try and I'm going to tell you the exact ones. Sorry, I thought my mascara was gonna fall off my table. Um there's actually if this will open, okay. Yeah. The ones that I actually do want to try is, um, there's an Elf Acne Fighting. I don't know how good it's going to be because, you know, Elf, like, I think it's like 3 or $6. So, I'm like, but, you know, sometimes the cheap stuff actually really do work better. So, like, with this scenario, the MAC and the, um, Fit Me. But, MAC is not bad either, but, um, L'Oreal and Soluble Pro Matte 24 Hours, L'Oreal Magic Nude liquid foundation the fit me foundation stick black opal true color cream stick um and the one i'm actually using now as a sample from ipsy is makeup forever the camera's not over 30. so okay i put this on the first time and i was testing on my face and it actually looked good but i guess i got darker within the next couple days when i tried it because I put it on my face and I looked like a ghost and I was just like what the heck happened I guess I got a little bit darker but this is in 173 which equals Y445 I don't know how they really do their colors like I don't know if you go to the store and be like I want 173 which equals Y445 or do you say Y445 or do you say 173 anyway I like it I really do like it but it's kind of pricey I think it's like $40 not for this. This is a sample. 40 or $50 for like a thing. But I liked it. I just had to get a different color. So that's foundation. I put my foundation on it and I guess that's when we can go into brushes. And I guess I should close this. I left this open this morning to remind me I need to wash my brushes. So which will be another video for y'all guys. Another video. But oh my god. Oh hell. The glitters. Yeah, no, I'm a girly girl. And I got this from BH Cosmetic. I got this. Is this? Hold on. Turn this way. BH. BH Cosmetics. Get your hand in the game. <laughs> but oh my gosh, guys, just let's let's take a moment of silence. Just admire this. Like oh my gosh, guys. I can't even do. So yeah. This is the brush set. I have a couple in here that are not the brushes from BH. I think it came with 12. And I actually have the paper in here because when I first got it, I had no idea what I had anything left. And I'll actually tell you what everything is. Or 11. Or 12. I don't know. It came with 11. Why would it come with 11? That's such a weird number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I guess it came with 11. Okay. I have a fan brush. I have a large powder. I have a blush brush, a foundation brush, a large dome blending, a fluffy shader brush, a tapered blending brush, a angled flat top shader brush, a flat shadow brush, a pencil brush, and an angled 
and an angled liner brush. I feel like there was 12. I feel like they're missing the eyelash one. The ones you really don't use on your eyelash because they look like mascara stick, but anyway. Okay, these are my brushes. They're so cute. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but I'm gonna, sh let's just pick out the ones that are really the brushes, yeah. So, these brushes are so wonderful. I wish they said it on it, but they give you like the number BH Cosmetic. But the thing I don't get, when they sent me this, that paper that I had, I had to print that out myself. When they sent you them, you think they would put the number on it and they would send the paper with the number, but I had to print it myself. Yeah, anyway. So this is how they look. They're like so chic and just so beautiful and brown. And they have their own melanin, like go ahead brushes. So yeah, these are my brushes. These are my brushes that I use. So, you know, to put on my foundation, I use the number four brush, the foundation brush. And this is, I probably have like my foundation on him. This is, oh, actually I have to go into something else that just reminded me. Um, these are pretty wonderful. My first set, this is my second set of brushes I ever bought since I've been doing makeup. And my first set, the, like these parts started coming off. So that's what made me have to get these. And these are like still oh so sturdy. And the bristles were coming off. Would you call these bristles? I don't, the brush, the hairs, I don't know what you want to call them. They were coming off too. These don't come off at all. Like I used to brush my face and then I look and then I have mad hair <laughs> all over my face. This doesn't happen with this. But those are my brushes and I really love them. And like, I just really love them. Yeah, no, this is my favorite brush. We'll get into that brush later. This is my favorite brush, guys. We'll get into that brush later. Um, little still left on foundation. I use this. This is a another NYX product. NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. Lightweight liquid illuminator that gives skin a fresh glow and beautiful highlight. So, this is what it looks like. When I first got it, I used it as a highlight. I didn't really like it because it's like, it's a liquid. See, it's a liquid. So I did it and I put it, you know, and it's like I had to rub it in and I didn't really like how it looked. I like the powder more highlight better. So then I watched the video, cause I got this from NYX, they gave it to me as a sample. And I watched the video and she said, you can just put it on your face by yourself, by itself or you can put it with your foundation. And this is actually Sunbeam. Sorry, I didn't let you know. Sunbeam, that's the color of this. And so what I do when I put my foundation, I put it, I mix it with my foundation brush, and I put it, and you know, my face has little sparkles that y'all probably can't see, but yeah, that's how that goes. So let's see. After I put my foundation, I go to the brows. All right, so I use this to, you know, this is not one of, this is from my first set of brushes that I ever bought. And let's see if this one's actually loose. No, this one's actually not loose. And I'm really mad because I think I went to like a hotel with my friends a couple weeks, like maybe two weeks ago. And I think I left it there because when I came home, I could not find it. So I was like, you know what? I have my other set. So now I, that, I think that's telling me that I need to buy a new set because then if I lose this one, what do I do? I don't have nothing else. I try to be sweet. <laughs> no, fail. So I think I have to buy me a new set of brushes, guys. And this actually, I have lists for everything. I really do. There's the Diva. It's D. Um, that's not an apostrophe. Is that an apostrophe? Yes. <laughs> D apostrophe V A Beauty. And then there's Sona. Sonia Kasha. I don't know why I'm reading this because I know I can't even read for the day of my life. And I bought my mom those brushes and she doesn't use them. And it bothers me. She does not use them. She only uses like one or two of the brushes because I don't like her brush set either because they be leaving bristles on her face too. Brushes. Oh my gosh. Be leaving hairs on her face and I don't like it. So I bought her a new brush set and it's so freaking cute. But she doesn't use it and I might steal it. And then the BH Cosmetic brushes. They have another set of brushes that I want. And then there's the oval brushes. And then Real Technique brushes. And BS, BS Mall brushes. Those are like 
the ones you can get on Amazon, like that are cheap, which I might actually get for like a backup set instead of taking my brushes out when I go, you know what I'm saying? Because I really like this brush and I'm really mad that I lost my thing. So I, you know what, I think I'm gonna invest in the BS, BS Mall brushes. And that's on like Amazon or eBay, I think, one of them. And I think I might just get those so when I'm going out, I take those brushes. But I had a piece of gray hair, let's say what's going on. How my friends are gonna have a gray piece of hair. And then, brushes. All right, so, yes, okay, so I go in. All right, and I take this. You know, I was looking at it this morning, because I'm like, Dad, I'm gonna do a video, and I don't even know what the heck this was. I got it from Walmart, and it says, BR on it. It's in the color rustic brown, and I love it. Okay, so my journey with eyebrows was kind of easy because I cannot do eyebrows for the day of living death. I mean, like, I don't even know what the heck I just said, but I cannot do brows for nothing. I tried the pencil, I tried what do I have in there? I have pencil, the crayon, the gel is where it's at. If you're doing your, your eyebrows and anything else, you get it on the weave. The gel is very sad. So I have this one, I use it, and then I use this brush that they gave me from Ipsy. It's a, a small angled brush. I don't know who it's by. Well, I know who it's by, but I can't pronounce that, so that's not happening today. And yeah, so you know I go in. Yeah, I know how to do brows. Don't take lessons from me. When we get to that part when I do my video, I might not even put that because... <laughs> A girl brows be bugging. I gotta do them like five million times. And one brow always look different than the other. If y'all look now, one probably look different than the other. This one, I always do on fleek. One try, bam, bam, done. This one, oh my freaking gosh, I have to do it like three times. So I draw my brows in, and then I go in with another LA Girl Pro Concealer, high definition concealer. But this one is color Warm Honey. I go in with this, I, you know, outline to clean up, then I do the middle of my face, I do down here, I do here, and then I do here. And then I let that sit for a little. While I'm letting that sit, I don't know, I like things to get like a little tacky, you know, I don't want them to be like so wet on my face because I feel like, you know, they're, I don't even know how to explain it. I saw somebody talk about it once and I was like, that's a really smart idea. So while I'm waiting, I do my favorite part, the mascara. Yeah, like why this little mascara? Um, this was a sample from Ipsy also. As y'all can see, I'm an Ipsy girl. Like, yeah, I'm an Ipsy background. Right I'm an Ipsy girl. I love Ipsy. I believe I should invest ten dollars, and I really feel like you're, they're the one making my makeup collection grow. Like, most no, I'm lying. I say most of my stuff I use is Ipsy. But no, a lot of stuff that I use in the morning to do my face, whenever I do my face, is Ipsy. But this is Superhero It. This is their mascara. And, oh my gosh, I'm freaking in love with it. Like, my mom just told me, like, she's like, can you buy me one? I'm like, it's a sample from Ipsy. And she's like, okay, well, buy me a real one. I was just like, lady, I don't even know how much this is. It's probably going to be expensive. I've seen the brand before It, and yeah, they're a little pricey. But I would definitely get it. Because if y'all can see my eyelashes, my, eyelash, blah, 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 my eyelashes are no joke. Like, they're nice. People ask me, like, oh my gosh, what kind of fa false eyelashes do you have? I'm like, I don't have any false lashes on. And I wish I really could for some more, but no. If y'all think it's false lashes, I love lashes. That's my thing. I love lashes. And I cannot put eyelashes on for the, for the, living dead of me i don't know why i keep saying that saying it i don't even know if it makes sense but <laughs> i can't put lashes over anything but when i have this on people <gasps> i'm so sorry people love it people are like oh my gosh are those your real lashes do you have false lashes on i'm just like no that's the eyelash thing i got from it and i mean from it from ipsy well it yeah and i just love it so you know i do my top do my bottom 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 do my top do my top no i really go mad times with my mascara like okay so then i go back and i use these sponges and then you know i clean it up 
I clean everything up. I actually have the bag of that. I know I was going to put that out for y'all. Measurable difference. I want to tell you where I got these from so badly. Dang it, y'all. Where did I get these from? Dang it, y'all. I want to say I got it from Shop Miss A too. Or I want to say I got it from BH Cosmetics, but I think that's a lie. I don't even know. I'm just going to back y'all because I feel embarrassed. I don't even know where I got those from. I got two months ago. But they're love. They come in different colors, but they're all. They come in different colors, but they're all the same shape. Like you see, I have. Oh, shoot. I have a green. A blue and a pink but they're all different colors like they're all they're all different colors but they're all the same shape but I love them okay so after I do that I basically always feel like I'm done I'm just like yep my makeup's done I really can just you know leave the house like that I don't really need any extra if I don't want to but yeah I know me I'm extra you are extra it's like nah yeah, no, I'm actually, I know I gotta go in. And I go in with my bronza. This is a bronza from Pacifica. And it's sunkissed. I love sunkissed. Just to, I'm gonna need my kids sunkissed. Because I just like love hearing stuff that's sunkissed. Like, I'm like, I don't know why. Just sunkissed, like, you kiss by the sun. That just sounds so golden. And just, oh, I just love it. Okay, don't pay me anything. I go in with this brush, brush number. Three. Let's find out what brush number three is. Brush number three is a blush brush. <laughs> well, no, this is bronzer. <laughs> but yeah, I go into the dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's it. And I actually got this sample. Guess where I got it from, guys? It's see. Yep, you're right. <laughs> and yeah, and then I go in with this. This is Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This is a mineral blush. Autumn glow. I know I just love everything glowy. This thing is so freaking beautiful. This blush, but I use it as a highlight. You know what? I'm actually using this as a blush on it. When I first got it, I didn't even care. I read it and I was like blush. And then I opened it and I was like, oh, this is going to be my highlight. So, you know. <laughs> we are back to my favorite brush. And you know, like going here, going here, going here, wait, going here, going here, going here, going here, and then I finish. Then I usually get dressed <laughs> because I never know what color lips I want to do because I never know what I want to wear and I never know what's gonna be the final product. So then, yeah, I do my lip color. I really love my lip color today. Um, it's summer in this room, and I'm about to get up and get it. But that's another <laughs> sample. It's so small and cute, but I freaking love it. But um, yeah, then when I finally put lipstick on, I go through and use my matte finish. This is another next product, matte finish, fine matte. Oh, finish. I said fine matte. That's French, and I just. And set that joint, girl. When I first got this, I didn't like it because it made my face really oily. But looking at my face today, I just recently started using them, and my face is not oily. I don't know why I was acting so bougie. I mean, my nose is oily, like, but I feel like my everybody's nose is always oily, and everybody's nose is always gonna be oily. Like, but anywhere else on my face is not really oily. What I've been using before that though was the Elf's makeup mist and set, but this is like basically done so i had to start using that one and i've got hair under my chin and it's really bothering me i think i might have one on my lip and it's really bothering me too but um after the <laughs> that's annoying after that that's that y'all i know like i'm missing some steps because you know like some people be baking some people contour i was into that like when i first started makeup but like I guess I need to work on it. I'm not even going to try to play it and you know? all. I just need to work on it because, like, you would have. I left the house. I freaking look like a 
boy in a striped pajamas. My face looked like the striped pajamas because it was just lines everywhere and it was just like, I don't have time. Like, I feel like then when you blend in everything so well, it just disappeared with the rest of the colors and I'm just like, it's just too much work. Too much work. And I know I'm supposed to have a setting powder. I'm still trying to find a good one that I want to get. I want to get either the Sasha or the Ben Nye. I don't even know. But, um... I think that's it, y'all. Um, like I said, after I'm done with my makeup stuff, because I want to do a makeup tutorial video for y'all. I want to do a washing my brushes tutorial for y'all. And then I want to do a... Hello, hello, sorry. And then I wanted to do uh, a all Ipsy makeup. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that one. I think I'm gonna wait until my November back come to see what they're gonna give me. And I watch it be like barely no makeup in there. The last bag they gave me was like straight makeup. And I, <laughs> I emailed them and I was like, can y'all just send me makeup stuff? Because that's the only reason I'm really with y'all because I really just want makeup. Like they were sending me skincare products and actually one of their skincare products that they sampled me, it's the one I use every morning and night now. So it's just like, and the mask that they sent me a sample, I use it all the time now. But now that I have something set, I'm just like, I don't need any more skincare products. I'm not trying anything else on my face now. So I was just like, can y'all just send me makeup and stuff? And they were like, well, you have to do a review, blah, blah, blah. And I did. And my, my last couple bags have been, blah, 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 blah. It mostly been makeup. So therefore, yeah, I'm going to see what my next makeup bag I'm with. And I really think I have enough because I have, well, I don't have any correctors that they gave me. Watch, I get a corrector. Um, I don't think, let me see. No, they didn't give me any corrector. But I have, I have no, I don't have no corrector. I have foundation that they gave me. Did they give me stuff for the brows? I don't think so. I'm so sorry. They gave me stuff for my eyelashes. I could do it. It's probably gonna be like a little bit of my own stuff, like brush wise. Duh, it's gonna be my stuff. Sponge wise, duh, it's gonna be my stuff. And some of the like actual makeup stuff might be my stuff too, but we'll see how that goes. Oh my god, that's God always love y'all, and so do I. I remember that if you have any problems, always go to God, or you can just come. To, not saying I'm better than coming to God, going to God, but if you know if you have any other problems, just come to Pretty Girl Theo. You know, I'm such a loving and kind-hearted person. Not trying to be cocky, but you know, I have no problem helping anybody if I got it. You got it, like, so that's it for now, guys, until I see y'all next Sunday. Happy Sunday, y'all. Love y'all. Much kisses from Pretty Girl Theo. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>